more than 1,000 feet high, Uluru is one of the most recognisable sites in Australia. On Friday, hordes of tourists flocked to climb the peak before a permanent ban takes effect after a decade-long fight by Indigenous people to close the trek. The traditional owners of Uluru, the Ananu people, have called for the path to be closed since 1985, when the park was returned to Indigenous control. Ananu elder Vincent Forrester says Uluru has deep spiritual significance. So, you know, it is a religious place, it's a place of religion, a place of worship. So, wow. You know, you know. But despite the impending ban and signs asking visitors not to climb, some tourists couldn't be convinced. Look, I respect that, but, um, you know, it, it's very sacred down the bottom. Up the top, I don't think it's as sacred as down the bottom. Um, so, yeah, everyone has their own opinion, but I, I don't see the harm in climbing. Um, so long as you don't damage anything, you just respect, you know, um, their culture and just walk and uh, yeah, don't damage anything up there or, or leave any rubbish up the top. Yep. Government data shows nearly 400,000 visitors flocked to Uluru in the year to end June, with Australians still making up the bulk of the visitors to climb the rock, followed by Japanese tourists.